This is going to be kind of a continuation of HCSB themed uh, videos because I just put one out recently on uh, personal size HCSB uh, and this is the HCSB study Bible that I have to be honest I have seen this for years and uh, actually used it online but I never had one in print and now that the HCSB has transitioned to the CSB you can get HCSB Bibles the older edition including the study Bible at just amazing prices uh, unbelievable prices so when this was on sale at CBD recently I got this large print hardcover edition uh, for only thirteen dollars and this personal size paperback edition for only seven dollars so uh, adding them up together I paid a total of twenty dollars for two wonderful editions of the HCSB study Bible uh, this one here uh, is obviously uh, a lot more portable uh, but the print is a lot smaller the, the uh, text is only a seven point font and the uh, notes are in a six point in the large print you get a um, ten point text and a uh, eight point uh, note system and then in the uh, regular size I believe uh, it's a nine point text and a seven point note system so uh, I'm just so happy this one obviously I wanted to just get real cheap and be able to have to carry around and this one for having on my shelf being able to read it at a desk so I am so excited to have this and I just wanted to show you some of the features uh, of the HCSB it, it is um, it is not the most updated edition uh, the CSB study Bible is uh, but this one is still really good uh, and has a lot to offer. Um, so let me just show you the back cover so you can see some of the features uh, that are talked about here. It has 315 word studies, more than 100 photographs, 60 timelines, a one-year and three-year Bible reading plan, 24 essays on practical and theological issues, two feature-length articles on the origin and transmission of the Bible, a feature-length article on how to read and study the Bible, and then there you have uh, a little bit of uh, what that looks like inside. So it is a marvelous tool, as it says on the back here. Uh, I'm going to mostly show you, though, from the large print edition, because it'll be easier uh, to look at here. Uh, this... <laughs> Uh, un incredible what you're getting uh, for uh, the price and uh, it has a dust jacket and then also has a nice cover printed the same way uh, on the large print here it has Holman Christian Standard Bible printed in gold at the top and again shows you some of the uh, features right on the front there looks so nice the uh, inside of this uh, it has like a parchment look to it. The newer CSB has a, a much more modern look to it. Uh, this is this is very parchment, kind of the ancient look to it, <laughs> and I really like that. Uh, not not saying that you know one is better than the other really. They're just different, but I I do like this a lot. Uh, the notes in it are going to be conservative evangelical notes. Um, has a lot of features as, as we looked at and this uh, shows you uh, some of what's in here got the introduction to the CSB study Bible this shows you how to uh, navigate some of the features and use them uh, this shows you uh, what it's going to look like as you're using the Bible and as we get in you'll see uh, it looks excellent. The print quality on this is phenomenal. I believe this was actually printed in 2015. It's really not an old Bible, so if you get one of these, it's not old, it's just that they're updating them uh, to the CSB Study Bible. 
So good to have on your shelf in my opinion at this price. Uh, so it's got uh, maps, a lot of maps there. And then we've got illustrations here and charts. Kind of gives you an idea of how many uh, of each feature you're looking at, quite a few. It also has Hebrew word studies throughout the Bible. So as you're looking at the uh, notes, you'll see certain Hebrew and uh, as well as Greek words. Greek word studies too, uh, that you'll see in the notes of the Bible. Introduction to the Christian Standard Bible. Also uh, right over here it has uh, God's plan for salvation. I really like the features they include in, in the uh, HCSB Bibles. Um, so that's about the, the translation itself. Then we have our first essay. I'm not going to show you every essay, but this one is How to Read and Study the Bible by George Guthrie. Again, this parchment look to it. Um, here's an overview of the Bible, uh, kind of just outlining everything in the Bible in a snapshot. So that's really nice. This gives you an idea of what, uh, what the charts look like. I'll show you some other charts too. A lot of nice front matter. Another essay on the origin, transmission, and canonization of the Old Testament books. They also have uh, information uh, near the New Testament about the, the canonization of the New Testament books. And then here we have uh, sources and authorship for Genesis and chart here on uh, the Apocrypha in relationship to the uh, Protestant Bible. The Apocrypha are books that uh, are not actually included in the, uh, the canon of the Bible that Protestants use. Uh, so here's the Old Testament, and you're going to get for each book a, 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 a little overview introduction. But you'll also see here a, a lot more of a thorough introduction to the book with the author and the background, message and purpose. Um, and so it also has a timeline here. Uh, for for the book, and you're going to see that a lot throughout this Bible as well. Very aesthetically pleasing, though. Again, that parchment look, I think, looks fabulous. Love the color scheme in this Bible. Um, we see how uh, the book of Genesis contributes to the Bible, its structure, and then the outline, which you're going to get for each book. Nice outline uh, showing all the parts of the book. And then we get into the text. This, uh, from what I have seen, doesn't talk so much about uh, the creation week in relationship to uh, modern science. Uh, it talks about it more in terms of uh, how this creation story compares to other ancient Near East creation stories. So there's actually an essay uh, in, the, in the Bible about that. And there it is right there. The uniqueness of the Genesis creation story uh, by Kenneth Matthews. So, uh, talking about it more again in relation to other ancient uh, tellings of creation rather than uh, relating it to uh, some of the modern issues that we face today. So, very informative. It doesn't so much, and I don't think anything in this Bible gets too much into any controversy. Uh, it might be a little bit more of a certain particular slant than, uh, than the NIV study Bible that I showed before. Uh, a little bit more conservative leaning maybe in some ways, but not super strong on any particular issue from what I've seen other than being conservative evangelical. The headings and the references are in kind of this, um, this beautiful blue color. I'm not uh, really good with colors. So it's kind of an aqua blue, I guess. And uh, there's one of the illustrations. Next page, I think we have another really nice illustration to show you. Uh, this is what the, the Old Testament high priest wore. Uh, so beautiful illustrations, some really nice charts. Here's one example of a chart. Oh, look. 
First Perspective. You should watch that channel. And uh, this uh, is Joshua's Cities of Conquest, just as an example. And they have lots of charts throughout the Bible here. So, very nice, very helpful stuff. Another chart right here is uh, the Kings of the Divided Monarchy. So I'm just quickly showing you uh, some of the, the look and features of this so you get an idea. It is a great, um, great Bible to have to be able to just, you know, learn more about each book of the Bible and different parts of the Bible. Love these maps. I think they just, this is in the middle of the Bible, conquests of Cyrus the Great, and you can just see what a, what a well done map that is, how good that looks. Love the formatting uh, as they're just talking about the, the number of Israelites. They have, you know, the different descendant families and then the numbers right there. So easy to read. Here's another map in the New Testament. It's the ministry of Jesus uh, beyond Galilee. And then I, I do see here there's uh, one of the Greek word studies. And that kind of shows you... Um, what you get throughout this Bible, they have different words that they highlight to help you to learn a little bit about the language behind the scriptures. Getting toward the end of the Bible here, uh, another word study here uh, on another Greek word, but also you see here a picture uh, that uh, is from ancient Rome, and uh, they have pictures, archaeological type pictures throughout the Bible. And like the NIV, study Bible. There's color on every page, as you can see. Uh, here are the bullet notes for the HCSB. These are words that have bullet points next to them when you're uh, reading the Bible, and then you can go back here and see a uh, clearer definition of what those words mean. Uh, you'll have a table of weights and measures, and then you have a concordance pretty standard in all of these study Bibles. And we will conclude uh, with, there are, uh, as I mentioned, these Bible reading plans. We've got a three-year plan and a one-year plan right here. So that'll help you to get through the Bible. I find study Bibles just so nice to, to give you a better understanding uh, of what you're reading, those notes in the Bible uh, as you're reading um, up here. You can just come down here uh, to the verse that's being referred to and it'll help you understand it better. Here are the maps in the back. So, again, it's uh, conservative and uh, biblical in its approach. Not necessarily strong-leaning uh, um, Calvinistic or charismatic. If anything, it kind of doesn't get into those issues too much. It does interpret the word uh, tongues as languages and maybe leans a little bit against, uh, you know, the idea of, of charismatic tongues as, as people might uh, view it today. But it's not real strong on that point. But it is a good volume to have, you, you know, regardless of what theological background that, that you have. If you believe the Bible and you want to dig into God's Word, this is a good one to add to your collection, the HCSB Study Bible. And it is at a great value right now uh, on CBD, Christian Book Distributors. So I highly recommend you pick up one of these if you're looking for something like this. Thank you so much for watching this review from a first perspective.